Hi everybody, thank you so much for your time. In this tutorial, we're going to look at how to reduce latency in your recording using Presonus Studio One. So latency can be a real problem when we are trying to record. And uh, today I'm going to walk you through some simple steps to get that latency down and keep your sessions running smoothly. So let's dive in now. So let's talk about what is latency. Latency is the delay between the moment you play or sing a note, then you hear it back through your headphone or speaker. So for example, when I say something like, hello, and then you hear it from your headphone, 0 0.5 second or one, two second later, you hear a hello. That is what we call latency. So there are a few ways that we can reduce the latency. So I'm going to show you a, a few different ways. So if you are using Studio One, go to Studio One for the Mac, you go to the preference for Windows, you go to your options, drop down under audio setup. There is this audio device tab, and this is my audio interface. So from here, you see device block size. So this is the one. Okay, let me zoom in a little bit so that you can see clearly. Okay. So this is the part where it says device block size. So from here, you can actually have a drop down and reduce the sample size. So like leave, for example, if all, you can see that the latency is 24 milliseconds. So this is like close to half a second. So it it's quite, it's going to be obvious. So when I reduce it to 256 down to 8 millisecond, which is just fine uh, between uh, anything that is less than 10 is really unnoticeable. Now, for some of you, if you are unable to have the drop down, probably you have to go through the control panels. Okay, so over here, you will need to click on a control panel and adjust accordingly as well. Okay, so that is the quickest way to adjust the latency. And now the other way is some of you, uh, when you are using your uh, audio interface okay audio interface you will be able to adjust and there is this button called um, real-time monitoring so when you press that on it will bypass your door and you can listen and um, you can monitor directly from your audio interface that is also another quick way okay now there's another way um, which I'm gonna show you so let me close this so if you um if you look at your bottom uh, your master okay so let me zoom it out. So your master over here your master bars which usually is on the top uh, is on the top right okay so let me zoom in. So this master button you see a Z okay Z or Z here right. So this is also when you enable it becomes green when it becomes green. That means you will turn on the latency um, monitoring. So uh, how do you, some of you, you may not be able to see this, right? So how do you get this? And now let me show you and uh, let me zoom it out. So same thing, I go to my audio setting. There's a, there's a quick key for Mac user is command with um, comma. Oops command with a comma okay that is for your that is for the mac users for the windows will be control comma now go to processing so when you come to processing the moment you switch that on uh, from medium and above you will see the zig zack so if i turn to, uh, switch to low and then hit okay i won't be able to see you see the zag is gone. Let me zoom in. See the zag is gone. But if let's say I bring it out again, okay. So let me just move this. So if I change it to medium, and immediately you will see that the Z is back. Okay, so you can turn it on so that you reduce the latency. So that is another way. Okay. Now, there's a few other ways which uh, usually by disabling your 
plugged in, unnecessary plugged in. Some of the plug in takes up a lot of processing power and you will have a problems. Now, um, one thing to note, if you are going to adjust your um, options, let me just bring it out again. So this one, you go to audio device. So when you drop down, go to let's say 32 um, or anything that is below 64, you will have a problem of clicks or pops when you are doing a playback. That is quite a bad uh, problem because the, mo the more you reduce the sample size, the more processing powers that it takes up. So it will end up having the pops and clicks. So if you hear any pops and clicks, means that you have to increase a little bit on your sample size. Okay. Now, uh, I find that uh, 256 or 512 is still quite all right for me. Okay. So let's, let if I go to 512, 13, when I come to bed, mine. So but uh, well, I would say that the better will be, I usually stick to the that will be very helpful. Okay, so I think that's about it and I thank you for your time and we'll catch up again. See you then. Bye-bye.